You recording? How you doing? You're in luck today. What we're going to do is make instruments out of things that you can find around your house. Now, not everybody has access to instruments, but everybody has neighbors, and everybody's stuck at home. So why wouldn't you want to piss off your neighbors with instruments that you made from scratch, from everyday objects? Now, we're not going to go through everything. Um, we're not going to do all the drilling. I spent a bunch of time today coming up with stupid ideas. This is, this is a fine line between stupid and clever sometimes um, to make instruments with. And I came up with a few cool things. Uh, I, got, I put a bunch of holes in myself, which is always fun. Uh, but band-aids are great. Duct tape's good for them too. So what we're going to start off with is a shaker. Now shakers are great instruments, percussion instruments. You know, you can play them. Usually they come in eggs, um, in egg form, plastic. But today what we're going to do is make one out of what everybody has probably tons of laying around. Toilet paper rolls. So first you get your toilet paper roll. Next, uh, duct tape. Now I didn't make some of these, I haven't tried. Uh, that's just in theory, these should work. So we're gonna put duct tape over to one side, one hole, like so. And let's see which one we want to use here. How about we go for a nice softer sound? So we use some uh, kosher salt. It's quite kosher. And then we'll fill it up. You see, they all want to come out. There we go. Fill up some more. Some more. And I'm kind of making a mess. That's all right. Salt uh, is salt to the earth. Now let's try to duct tape the other side and let's see how the sounds. And if it's not sounding as good as it should, then maybe we'll just add more salt. So let's kind of double tape it. So, tape the, or salt doesn't go everywhere. And this side. Now let's test this out. And that's not too bad. You can kind of do your shaker like that. That one worked. One down. Toilet paper shape. Next, we'll do a tuna can. Now, this is probably going to be like another shaker. Now, what we're going to do here is we're not going to drill. We are kind of pre drilled this. Uh, take your tuna can, normal tuna can, drill a hole, find a screw. Uh, just pull something off a tree. And then we will find where the hole went. There it is. Now you want to do your screw in through the hole. And I kind of pre-drilled pre -drilled the hole. So we can screw it, screw through. We're going to put it into the stick. Now, one thing I found is these little drill bits are kind of good for being able to get into tight places if you don't have a screwdriver that can fit in a tube can. Okay. Well, it's a little flappy. So next, what we're going to do is, how about we just get covering this with duct tape too, why not? But we're not going to want stuff to stick. So let's do one piece down like that. Two pieces down like that. Okay. I 
like with duct tape. That's right. Now let's do smaller piece. Kind of going down across it. That. Before we do that, it does work. Let's get into another one I didn't try. Let's take uh, a caraway seed. I don't, know. I don't even know what they're for. Let's make that go faster. Fill this up with caraway seeds. Yeah, it kind of smells good. Because with our lemon, uh, Sensual cooking oils. Okay. Put the duct tape down. We'll see if this one works. Okay, it looks like just a little opening there. Let's use duct tape. You see, if you see somebody vomiting out in the alleyway? Yeah, yeah, I did. No, who did? It was, uh, it was me. Oh, I was going to say, you can't really dust for a <laughs> Okay, so. Oh, I hope this thing holds, but. Hey, there you go. Two in a can. Kind of shaker. It's a little, a little harsher than this one. Try to put some stones in this one. All right, so there's two. Next we're gonna do, it's kind of like a rain stick, but I call it a cactus stick. So, so this is out of a, a tape paper towel roll. And I, I, I spent a little time poking holes, which I found, a, I was using a nail and I put toothpicks through. And I put one side over here, I taped it with a little bit of plastic from a coffee pot top thing. And then I found this cartographer's tool that maybe it was Columbus's, I don't know. But then I kind of gauged around there. And just kind of drew a circle. So this is going to be the other end. We're going to get to it. Actually, I can't see what I'm doing, but that's all right. There's no mistakes. Just happy accidents. So we're going to cut a circle. Now, I use toothpicks. I'm calling it a cactus stick instead of a rain stick. As it, it, it's kind of like a weapon now. It, 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 all, the, all of them are sticking out, and then I, I used spray adhesive to hold them in place. And I poked holes in with this end, I was using a nail, and then I started using this cartographer tool. And it kind of started working better where I didn't really need the glue. But if you don't have spray adhesive, you, you, you might actually have glue, you just didn't have the glue. Or, you know, honey, or anything sticky, maybe hair gel, I don't know, whatever it could work. So, what we're going to do here is... We didn't try this one out either. It's macaroni elbows. Found some macaroni elbows. They seem like they should work. Um, dump those in. Okay. That sounds like it's going to work. Like I said, it's such a fine line between stupid and clever sometimes. And I tread that very well. So, what we're going to do then is take this. It, 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 when they fall, it probably sounds better to be on plastic. Then you get to reuse the, you know, the coffee top, which you'll see what we use for the rest of the body coming up here. And I'll put duct tape on. 
So now you have a weaponary cactus stick that would probably come more come in handy out where my brother lives in uh, Tucson. But let's see how this works. Ah, it's not too bad. Hey, there you go. That actually worked. So there's your uh, weaponary cactus rain stick. Now, we decided to make a kazoo. I, I, I took uh, some PVC out of the sink that we weren't using and tied some rope and took some cellophane and put it over. It kind of works. It's, I think it's a little too big, but this is the only PVC we had. So, so it does kind of work. So, yeah, just two pieces of string. You can use rubber bands. Uh, drill a hole right here. That's all, that's all it is. One hole. Cellophane. Rubber bands, rope, whatever you got around, kazoo. Now, this is the final one. <sighs> Built myself a canjo. Now, this, this took a while to do, and I had no idea what I was doing. I just started doing it. But this is a multi-process. So this is a piece of wood from actually these floors. And I, that was the only wood I could find that was kind of straight and long enough. And you do need a tuning peg. I did, I did take a tuning peg off a of guitar and put it in there. But what, what I did was drill a hole up here, tuning peg, make sure it's straight. Um, here is the nut, and this is a slotted screw. So I just screwed that in. And then this is the, the other end of this coffee thing uh, and it's chock full of nuts just like we are trying to crazy stuff and drilled one hole right here and then another one up inside and then in the back put the hole where the string sits and then I just used two drywall screws to put a piece of string so that you have a holder and you have uh, yourself uh, kind of a canjo, I guess you call it. Yeah, it kind of it works. It's, it's kind of fun. There's some other things you can do with it. I uh, found my Ebo sitting around somewhere. You can kind of you know, just use your beer bottle. Stupid and clever. There it goes. I think is the saddest of all keys. That song was called Lick My Love Pump. So there you have it. You have a canjo, you have weaponary cactus rain stick, you have tin can tuna shaker, kazoo, and your uh, toilet paper shaker. And you know what? These are pretty fun. They take a while to do. Um, but we're probably going to do a part two. I, I came up with some other ideas. I just didn't really have the stuff, of, obviously, because of, you know, quarantine uh, to go out to or even order. This is just stuff that was laying basically in the recycling bin. So I hope you uh, enjoyed and take care. Rock. Pfft.